Hello, welcome to the Mark Gennard Show, the cybersecurity show. Now, let's talk about home networks, right? And uh, what I'm going to discuss today in this video, first, I'm gonna talk about what is a home network. Second, I'm gonna talk about the differences between wired and wireless home networks. Third, I'm gonna talk about best home network setup for beginners. Fourth, I'm gonna talk about updated security measures you should take to make sure that you, your home network is secure from cyber attack. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So what is a home network, right? A home network is a localized system that connects various devices within a household, allowing them to communicate with each other and share resources. This includes sharing internet connections, files, printers, and other devices like smart TVs and gaming consoles. Let's look at definition and components of, some of, of these things, right? Technically classified as local area network, also known as the LAN, L-A-N, a home network typically consists of a router, the central device that connects to the internet and manages communication between devices on the network. Most routers also include built-in Wi-Fi capabilities, allowing wireless connections. You then have the modem. This device connects the home network to the internet service provider, also known as the ISP, providing access to the internet. Then you have devices, right? This can you know be computers, smartphones, tablets, printers, any smart home devices that require internet connectivity. Now, home networks can be set up using either wired connections, you know, like the via um, the Ethernet cables, or wireless connections like Wi-Fi. We all know that, right? A wired setup generally offers faster and more stable connections, while a wireless setup provides greater flexibility and convenience for connecting multiple devices throughout the home. Now, when we talk about functionality, a home network enables users to share a single internet connection among multiple devices, uh, allowing simultaneous use without interference, right? You can share files and documents between devices. You connect to shared you know, printers and scanners. You can stream media and play online games across you know, different devices in the home, right? So now let's talk about the differences between, even though we talked about it a little bit, let's go a little bit second, third level when it comes to the difference between wired and wireless home networks. So number one, the connection method, wired, wired, wired networks use ethernet cables to connect devices directly to the router or modem. Wireless networks use radio waves to connect devices to the router without physical cables. Uh, you have speed and reliability. Wired networks generally offer faster and more stable connections, especially in buildings with concrete walls or other obstructions, right? Wireless networks, on the other hand, can be affected by interference from other devices like walls and distance from the router, potentially resulting in slower speeds or connection drop. Then you have mobility and convenience, right? Wireless networks allow users to move freely uh, with their devices throughout the coverage area. Keep in mind the coverage area, right? Wired networks restrict mobility as devices need to be physically connected to ethernet ports. So what I'm trying to get to you is there are pros and cons to both of these things, right? So fit them according to your situation. You have security, wired networks are inherently more secure as they require physical access to the network. Wireless networks are more vulnerable to unauthorized access like cyber attacks through security measures, you know, even though security measures have improved over time. Now installation and setup, right? When you look at it from a wireless perspective, wireless networks are typically easier and quicker to set up requiring minimal physical infrastructure. Wired networks often require more extensive installation, including running cables through walls and setting up Ethernet ports. A device compatibility, wired networks support a wider range of devices, including smartphones, IoT devices, and tablets. Wired networks are limited to devices with Ethernet ports, which may exclude some mobile devices. For you cheapskates out there, yeah, you, you cheapskate, you a cheapskate, just kidding. Cost considerations. The cost comparison can vary depending on the specific setup, but wireless networks often have lower initial installation costs. Wired networks may have longer lasting hardware and potentially lower long-term maintenance costs. Interference and signal strength. Wired networks are not affected by signal interference from other devices or physical obstacles. Wireless networks can experience interference from other electronic devices 
walls and distance from the router, right? So in practice, many modern home networks use a combination of wired and wireless connections to leverage the advantages of both technologies. So now let's get into the meat of things, right? Let's get it. Let, let, let's get into the juicy thing. So the best home network setup for beginners, right? For beginners looking to set up a home network and please take a moment to hit that subscribe button and like button. Please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and like button. It's important to choose equipment that is user friendly and provides reliable connectivity. So here is a breakdown of the best options and steps to create efficient home network, right? So here's the recommended equipment. You have the router, the TP-Link Deco S4 2-pack, whole mesh Wi-Fi system priced at about 90 bucks. This system offers excellent coverage and is easy to set up, making it ideal for beginners. It supports multiple devices and provides a stable internet connection throughout the home, right? Uh, Amazon Eero 6 Plus Mesh Wi-Fi system. This system provides gigabyte speeds and can connect to over 75 devices covering up to 4,500 square feet. It's priced at about 300 bucks and is known for its reliability and ease of use. The power line adapter, the TP-Link AV1200 gigabyte power line starter kit, that's around 60 bucks. This kit allows you to extend your network using existing electrical wiring, which can be particularly useful in larger you know, homes where Wi-Fi signals may not reach you know, all areas effectively. Uh, Additional access points, you have the TP-Link EAP610. If you, you know, if you have existing Ethernet wiring, adding access points like the EAP610 can, can enhance coverage without the drawbacks of wireless repeaters. This is especially useful if you need wired connections in specific areas of your home. Now, now here are the steps to set up your home network, right? You have to choose a central location for your router, install your router in a central area of your home to maximize coverage, ensure it is elevated and away from a instructions to connect your modem to the router use an ethernet cable to connect your modem right provided by your internet service provider we talked about it it's the isp also this connection is crucial for internet access you can then configure your router right access the router's settings through a web browser using the ip address provided in the router's manual change the default username and password set up your wi-fi network name the ssid and enable WPA2 encryption for security, right? Connection devices use ethernet cables for stationary devices like PCs or gaming consoles. For mobile devices connected via Wi-Fi, right? Do that, do that, you know, mobile devices connect via Wi-Fi, okay? So if you're using a mesh system, follow the manufacturer's instructions to place nodes in optimal locations throughout your home. Now expand your network, right? If needed, add power line adapters or additional access points to extend your network's reach, especially in areas with weak Wi-Fi signals. Next, test your network. This is very important, right? You set it up, now you gotta test it. So once everything is set up, test your internet speed and connectivity in various areas of your home to ensure optimal performance. When setting up your home network, prioritizing certain security measures is crucial to protect your devices and the data. So here are some steps that you need to do to focus on to secure your home network, right? Secure your wireless router, right? Change the, the default router name, SSID, to something unique that doesn't reveal personal information or the router brand. Set a strong, unique password for your router admin account and Wi-Fi network. Enable at least WPA2 or WPA3 encryption for your Wi-Fi network. Keep your devices and software up to date, right? Every, you know, regularly update the firmware on your router, enable auto updates for all connected devices, operating systems, and applications. Use strong authentication, right? Implement multi-factor authentication whenever possible. Create strong, unique passwords for all your online accounts. The more layers of security you have, the better, okay? Install and maintain security software. Use a comprehensive security suite with antivirus, anti-phishing, and firewall capabilities on all devices. Keep your antivirus software also up to date. Uh, and you know, set up the firewalls, right? Enable the built-in firewall on your router. Install and configure software firewalls on individual devices, okay? So that's what I have for you today. Please take a moment to hit that subscribe button and the like button. Once again, please take a moment to hit that subscribe button and the like button. I appreciate your viewership. Stay safe and see you in the next video.